buying a house is one of the most significant investments a family can make. However, the process of financing this investment can be overwhelming, especially for busy families. There are several financing options available in the market, and it's essential to understand each one to make the right decision for you. In this short video, we will compare conventional loans, FHA loans, and cash as financing options for buying a house. First up today is going to be the conventional loan. A conventional loan is a mortgage that is not backed by the federal government. These loans are offered by private lenders such as banks, credit unions, and mortgage companies. Conventional loans are the most common financing option for home buyers, which makes processing these loans straightforward and relatively easy to move along when all parties are keeping up with their tasks. Let's take a look at some of the benefits to using a conventional loan to finance your home purchase. One, conventional loans offer lower interest rates compared to other loan types. Two, they have more flexibility in terms of the property types that can be financed. Three, with a conventional loan, you have no upfront mortgage insurance premium payments required if you make a down payment that is 20% or more. Four, you have the ability to cancel private mortgage insurance once the loan to value ratio reaches 78%. And five, you could potentially have an easier and faster loan processing due to standardized requirements and guidelines. Now for some drawbacks with conventional loans. One, conventional loans usually require a higher down payment than other types of loans, which can make it harder for some people to afford a home. Two, conventional loans have stricter credit requirements, which means that people with low credit scores may not qualify for a loan or may be offered higher interest rates. Three, if you put down less than 20% of the home's purchase price, you'll have to pay for private mortgage insurance, which can add to the cost of your monthly mortgage payments. Four, closing costs for a conventional loan can be higher than other types of loans, which can make it more expensive to purchase a home. And five, conventional loans may have more rigid requirements regarding property types, loan amounts, and other factors, which can limit your options when it comes to purchasing a home. Next up, we're looking at FHA loans. An FHA loan is a mortgage insured by the Federal Housing Administration. These loans are designed to help first-time home buyers, low-income individuals, and those with lower credit scores. Here are some of the benefits to using an FHA loan. One, FHA loans require a minimum down payment of as low as 3% of the purchase price of a home, which can be a significant advantage for those who may not have saved up a large down payment. Two, FHA loans also have more lenient credit requirements than conventional loans, making it easier for borrowers with less than perfect credit to qualify. Three, these loans typically have lower interest rates than conventional loans, which can save borrowers thousands of dollars over the life of the loan. And four, FHA loans are backed by the government, which provides lenders with additional security and allows them to offer more favorable terms to borrowers. FHA loans are a great option for those who qualify for them. However, not everything is rainbows and butterflies, so here are some things to weigh out the negative side to help you make a well-rounded decision. One, FHA loans require mortgage insurance premiums that can increase monthly payments and add to the overall cost of the loan. Two, the property you want to purchase must meet certain standards and requirements in order to qualify for an FHA loan, which could limit the selection of homes available for purchase. Three, FHA loans have lower loan limits compared to conventional loans, which could also limit the amount of money you can borrow for a home purchase. And four, FHA loans have stricter guidelines for property conditions, which could require repairs or renovations to be made before purchasing the home. Cash is going to be the last financing option we discussed today. Cash is the ultimate financing option for buying a house. If you have enough money saved up, you can pay for the house in cash without having to worry about mortgage payments, interest rates, or any additional fees. However, this is not a viable option for everyone, so let's take a closer look at some of the pros and cons to using cash to purchase your next home. Here are some reasons why you would want to use cash to finance your home purchase. One, when you buy a home with cash, you don't have to worry about making monthly mortgage payments. This can give you more financial flexibility and peace of mind. Two, mortgages come with interest payments, which can add up to a significant amount over time. By paying cash, you avoid these interest payments and can save money in the long run. Three, when you make an all cash offer on a home, you can often beat out other buyers who are relying on financing. This can give you a competitive advantage in a hot real estate market like what we're seeing now. Four, closing on a home purchase can take weeks or months when you're dealing with a mortgage lender. But when you pay cash, you can often close the deal much faster, which can be especially helpful in a competitive market. And five, owning a home outright means that you have a valuable asset that can appreciate in value over time. Additionally, owning a home with cash can provide protection against creditors and other legal actions. Now for some drawbacks to purchasing a home with cash. One, when you purchase a home with cash, you tie up a large amount of cash in a home purchase and you may miss out on other investment opportunities opportunities that could potentially yield higher returns. Two, if you need access to cash for an emergency or an unexpected expense, it may be difficult to quickly liquidate a property. Three, if you have a mortgage, you may be able to deduct the interest payments on your taxes, which can result in significant savings. Four, paying for a home in cash doesn't help build your credit score, which could impact your ability to secure loans or credit in the future. And number five, when you purchase a home with cash, you don't have the leverage of a mortgage to negotiate better terms or lower purchase prices. When it comes to financing a home purchase, there is no one size fits all solution. Each financing option has its pros and cons, and it's crucial to consider your financial situation, your credit score, your down payment, and your long-term goals before making this decision. Conventional loans are ideal for those with excellent credit scores and a substantial down payment, while FHA loans are a better choice for those with lower credit scores and less money saved up. Cash is an excellent option if you have enough liquid assets to cover the cost of the house. In the end, it's essential to do your research and consult with a mortgage specialist to ensure that you make an informed decision when financing your home purchase. 
I hope that you found the information in this video helpful and I'm always available to answer any questions you have regarding this topic or anything else related to real estate in Chicago Southwest suburbs. If you like the information in this video, then check out the other two videos I have in this series where I go over the pros and cons of buy down loans and I'll talk to you about the 10 mistakes not to make after you get pre-approved from your lender. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you around.